All right, so let's discuss something really exciting and something that many astronomers actually thought we'll never be able to find. A discovery of something around Saturn. And specifically, a discovery of the first ever Saturn's Trojan. An object that's technically an asteroid, but in a very specific orbit. And for a lot of astronomers studying the solar system, this is actually super exciting. Like, beyond exciting. Mostly because nobody actually thought these were even possible. And so, hello wonderful person, this is Anton. Let's discuss the discovery and the confirmation of this rock known as 2019 U014 that was just confirmed a few hours ago and talk about why for astronomers this is actually extremely exciting. And to begin, I think we have to define Trojans first. In essence, you kind of see them right there, visible in green. These are Trojans of Jupiter. And while in essence, it's a small celestial body, usually the size of a typical asteroid, that shares an orbit with a planet, and actually remains stable in the same orbit as the planet for at least some time, usually thousands of years, sometimes millions of years. But there's a limit to where these orbits can form. You might already know about the Lagrange points, but in essence there are five points around every single planet where an object can actually have a relatively stable orbit. For example, telescopes like the James Webb and the Gaia telescope all currently orbit in the L2 point, where they can basically stay for years and years only using a little bit of fuel to maintain a permanent stable orbit. Likewise, we have some satellites in L1, but it's actually L3, L4 and L5 that are particularly interesting. Mostly because objects in those orbits can stay there for a very long time and can actually naturally assume those orbits and have done so around many different planets. For example, planet Earth currently has at least two separate Trojans, 2010 TK7 that you see right here and 2020 XL5. By definition, both of these are Trojans, or basically captured asteroids, that now share their orbit with planet Earth. And as you can see from this table right here, almost all planets have Trojans. Mars has them, Venus has them, Uranus and Neptune have a bunch too, actually possibly a lot more that we haven't discovered yet, simply because it's a little bit difficult to see those objects, and Jupiter has a lot. Like, a lot a lot. Thousands identified and potentially millions still hiding. The NASA's Lucy mission is going to be exploring a lot of them in the next few years. But due to its small size, Mercury is believed to have none. Although what's really intriguing here is Saturn. It also seems to have none. And it was not clear why. Saturn, just like Jupiter, is actually a really massive object. And so many different studies try to actually explain what's happening here. Here's one of the more well-known studies that tries to explain why there are no Trojans around Saturn. In short though, it seems to be the result of the, I guess, bullying from Jupiter. Because Jupiter is about three times more massive than Saturn, it forces Saturn to assume a kind of a libration point, which basically creates a 5-2 resonance between Jupiter and Saturn, sometimes referred to as Laplace's Great Inequality. And so in other words, because of this gravitational interaction, researchers always believe that Saturn potentially cannot have Trojans. In other words, Jupiter destabilizes the entire region around Saturn, making it impossible for any of the asteroids to ever share the orbit with the ring planet. Uh, okay, technically, all of them are actually ringed, but Saturn has the biggest rings. And so for basically decades, because of Jupiter, it was actually believed that we're never going to find anything. Ironically, quite a few objects have been discovered around Mars, and in this case, the explanation was that it's just a little bit closer to the asteroid belt and actually quite far from Jupiter, so the effects were not as dramatic. But what's unusual about the Martian Trojans is that they seem to be permanent. Their orbits are unlikely to change for a very long time. In contrast, Jupiter's Trojans do change every few thousand years. In this case, it's actually the Saturn and Saturn's gravitational influence that changes their orbits over time. And so since the discovery of the first Trojan around Jupiter back in 1906, for the past hundred something years, the assumption was that there's just not going to be anything around Saturn. And so because of this 5-2 resonance between Jupiter and Saturn, any object that could become a Trojan of Saturn instead seems to become a Trojan of Jupiter. And here we're talking about objects like centaurs that usually orbit between Jupiter and Neptune. And even though these centaurs don't have permanent orbits, quite a lot of them end up becoming Trojans 
assuming orbits around Jupiter, Uranus or Neptune, with basically just Saturn being left behind. And that was the overall assumption ever since the first discovery, or the first Trojan, from back in 1906. But some researchers thought otherwise. They actually did think that there was a way for Saturn to potentially maintain an orbit for at least a few thousand years, with different types of research trying to prove this by essentially creating various models. And so some researchers truly believe that it's just a matter of time. And though over the years many researchers suggested there might be some Trojans out there, we just possibly misidentified them. Unfortunately, there was no proof, um, I guess, until now. Yeah, looks like they were right. The study by Man To Hui and his team officially confirmed that the object known as 2019 UO14 is indeed a Trojan of Saturn. The object that you can kind of see as this little dot in the image from the Hubble, or a slightly different dot in other telescopes. But here, to confirm that this was a Trojan, and not just a centaur, or some kind of a different asteroid, scientists had to look for data observing its motion for many, many years. And this actually involved several telescopes and observations from back in 2015. And luckily this was enough to establish that this object was indeed orbiting like a typical Trojan, located in the L4 Lagrange point. And even though previous calculations suggested that it should be basically impossible, we finally have direct evidence that it's not. But because this object was discovered in 2019, it obviously took a few years to finally prove all of this. And the biggest proof came from prior images from before 2019, when its position was officially confirmed. And so here now we know this object takes approximately 30 years to orbit once, and seems to orbit 60 degrees ahead of Saturn. But similar to other Trojans, especially the ones around Jupiter, its orbit is not permanent. This is a transitional rock, or a transient Trojan, that was most likely captured approximately 2000 years ago, and was very likely a centaur. And the scientists now believe that it's most likely going to become a centaur or just an asteroid once again in approximately 1000 years from now. Which is not that different from a typical Trojan around Jupiter. Naturally, all of this instability is the result of gravitational influence from Jupiter. But on top of this, here, they were also able to measure its colors, which seem to be consistent with everything we see around Trojans of Jupiter, and even similar to Trojans of Neptune. But more importantly, extremely similar to Centaurs, which of course confirms its origins. But based on the observations, and specifically based on the temperature measurements, researchers behind the study actually think this could also be the first ever active Trojan, or basically a kind of a cometary object. But in this case, this is right now just an assumption. At the moment, there are no observations of any kind of activity from the surface. However, researchers believe that this object is maybe a little bit too hot. So it should be emitting something at some point. And so they actually suggest additional observations to potentially discover if this is actually a comet. Or technically an active asteroid, like for example the famous object 29P. Or several other objects that we've discussed in the video in the description. Either way though, this is a super exciting discovery because we finally have another object to add here, and in this case an object in orbit of Saturn, suggesting of course that this table now has to be updated. But at least for now that's basically all we know about this object, 2019 UO14, even though this is probably one of the most exciting discoveries in terms of the solar system discoveries in 2024. I'm sure there will be more discoveries really soon, and we'll definitely come back and talk more about this in some of the future videos, but until then, check out some of the previous videos on similar topics in the description below. Thank you for watching, subscribe, share this with someone who loves learning about space and sciences, come back tomorrow to learn something else, support this channel on Patreon by joining a channel membership, or by buying the wonderful person t-shirt you can find in the description. Stay wonderful, I'll see you tomorrow, and as always, bye bye.